Hi, I'm Caitlin Jones at Microsoft. I want to share some tips for making games more inclusive. Haptic feedback, such as controller vibration, can make video games feel more immersive. Additionally, haptic feedback can be a great tool for players with disabilities. For example, important sounds or visual cues in the game can also be represented with corresponding haptic vibrations. A player with a visual disability may want to leverage haptic vibrations for information about what's happening in the game on their screen, such as a car veering off the racing track in Forza Horizon 4. Similarly, haptics can be used to represent important game environment sounds or audio cues, like these rocks falling in the distance in Gears 5. Providing distinct patterns, intensities, or customization options for haptics can make them even more useful. But it's important to keep in mind that while haptics can be beneficial for some, for others they can be distracting or even harmful. Some players who dislike intense sensory stimuli may want to turn off their controller vibration in a game. Players who have chronic hand or arm pain might want to turn off the vibration too. It's important to keep in mind that some players will be using alternate inputs like the Xbox adaptive controller and switch buttons, or PC mice and keyboards. These players are not able to gain information from haptics, so be sure to always provide cues through multiple means, visual, auditory, and haptic. These are just a few reasons why it's important to give players options when it comes to haptics in your game. Thanks for watching.